everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing the Top 5 Wednesday video. Yes, I'm aware it's Saturday, I am a bit behind, but at least better late than never. <laughs> well, this was one, um, I had always meant to start doing them, but I hadn't really found a topic that I really wanted to jump in and do, and then this one came up for this month, um, they're doing kind of a romance or love theme, and this top five Wednesdays, well, last Wednesday, was fa top five favorite male-male romances. And since I read a lot of that, and it's something right up my alley, I decided to join in, even though it's not Wednesday. So these are in no particular order. They're not in, like, least favorite to most favorite. They're just how they came to mind. So one of my top fives is Zane and Tyler from the Cotton Run series by Abigail Rowe and Madeline Urban. Um, it's about like a nine book series. They are both FBI agents and it's just, it's written conjointly for like the first four or five and then Abigail Rowe finishes the series. And it's so angsty in the best way possible. It's so heartfelt. Like I cried like hard a couple of times. It's so fun. Um, they're obviously trying to deal with all these mysteries. I think the first time they meet, um, Zane is just getting out of cyber crime because he was being punished for some of his actions in the past. And, um, Tyler's coming back from undercover and they meet for the first time and they're going to be partnered on this serial killer case. And it's just the tension and the dislike between them. This is definitely like one of those enemies to lovers one, except for they're not really enemies. They they work really well together, but they their personalities definitely clash really in the beginning and continues to do so, but it's just so good. They're so good. Another of my top five favorite male-male romances is Caesar Serrano and Nathan Riley from The Good Thief by James Buchanan. So Caesar Serrano is actually a thief. He breaks and enters into people's houses to steal things and Nathan Riley is a cop and they hook up not knowing anything about each other beginning of the book and then Caesar finds out he's a cop so he's like I don't know like I can't be dealing with that because he's a thief well Caesar then breaks into someone's house and he finds this very bad evidence and so he brings it to the only cop he knows, and it's just kind of like them being forced back together and dealing with that, because Caesar kind of has to go into protective custody, and it's just, it's another one of those, like, they don't quite, like, they have amazing chemistry, but they don't get along in the beginning, um, but they kind of make it work, and it's just, yeah, if you, and it's also really well written, so if you guys haven't checked it out, you know, like mysteries, probably, probably one of my most favorite books or mystery novels that I read. Another one of my favorite ones is The Relationship in Magic's Price by Mercedes Lackey. I'm not going to say the actual relationship because I feel like it might be a little bit of a spoiler, um, but I just think it's really well handled and the main character, Vaniel, who is part of the relationship, I just kind of gave half of it away, but um, is one of my favorite characters. Last Herald Mage is one of my favorite series, so it's just, it's really good. I do want to say, um, in case people, because I know I've mentioned it a couple times and I feel like I've seen a, a, at least Matthew Sharapa mention it as another um, fantasy with gay main characters. Vaniel does have a relationship in the first book, but it's not my favorite, which is why it's not on this list. If you were wondering if it just happened in the last book, it doesn't. It is, uh, he is gay through most of the whole series, so. Sorry, that was my cat. Another one of my favorite male-male pairings is Nestor Har Harris and Oka Soyan slash Amber Orchid from the Becca Cooper series by Tamora Pierce. They appear in the second book, The Bloodhound. And I just love it, how it's approached. It's so a non-issue. Nestor Harris is another cop or provost guard. And Oka is 
an entertainer. Um, he's a singer slash musician who works for, it's going to be kind of hard to talk about it, but the, um, who works for the Court of the Rogue. So it's kind of like the, kind of like the mafia of where they live, I guess, to put a very simple, broad thing about it. And I really like it. Um, one of the reasons because of how they deal with their differences and it shows them dealing with their differences and how they both deal with having such different professions when they get worried about each other being safe or not. And another thing that's really interesting is Oka's entertainment persona, Amber or Orchid, is more than just that. There are times where Oka feels like he was born in the wrong body. And Amber Orchid is kind of his true being. Um, but he still seems to embrace being a guy at the same time. It's just a really interesting dynamic. I think it was handled really well. And I absolutely love it. It's one of my... Probably one of my favorite series that Tomorrow Pierce did. Just because it is a, a bit of a different vibe to it. Because it is based around kind of like mysteries and cops. Because Becca, the main character is training to be a provost guard or kind of like a cop of that time. And I just kind of really, I mean, that's one of the genres I really like and I just really like the vibe of it. And my last but certainly not least favorite male male romance is Sarah Gill and Alec from the Night Runner series. I don't feel like this is too big of a spoiler. I mean, it doesn't happen in the first book, but I mean, if you read the back of any of them, I mean, it definitely mentions them being together, and it's just... The way they get together is so good. Um, the world in and of itself is awesome. Um, I just... And there's... Even though, like, some of the moments are really serious, there's... They just have such fun together. And I absolutely just love them as a couple. I love them as people like individually and together. Well, those are my top five favorites. Well, until my next videos, ta-ta for now.